Alrighty, before this video starts, I want to give a huge shout out to my recent Kofi supporters. So thank you so much to Jesse, Shaking Bird Art, and uh, had an anonymous person donate a coffee. So whoever you are, thank you so much. Without further ado, let's get into this awesome, and I mean awesome, explore, guys. Alrighty, what is up, guys? It is Noah here, and today we are exploring this amazing abandoned theater. This place shut down in 2006 and has been abandoned since, and it is in very very poor shape for the 15 years it's been abandoned. They used to play all types of like different movies here. Um, they even have the projector with some films still sitting behind. They used to have plays, shows, stuff like that. And what happened is they ended up making a new theater and this one's just sitting here to rot. Um, it's pretty hard to get access to this one so without further ado let us go and explore this amazing place. All right, guys, so this is the main, I guess, lobby of the theater. And right away, you can just see how much detail they've put into everything here, from the chandeliers to the sconce lights on the walls. And you can just see the level of decay that has begun in this place. It's absolutely insane. I'm assuming that somebody's come and ripped out some of the copper and stuff like that, but not 100% sure. Look at the detail in the railing even. Like that is absolutely insane. This whole place. They spent a lot of time and money making this a nice place. So over here is the restaurant for this place. So you could come and get different snacks and stuff before your shows. The mural on the wall is very cool too. So you can see back here, this is where you would have gotten your snacks and stuff like that. You can see on the menu they got beer, wine, pop, coffee, water, candy, peanuts. Melinda's Dignity? I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but okay. It's very cool in here though. I'm assuming in here is just uh, storage for the food, but you can see it's locked up, so I doubt we'll be able to open it. But I think it's interesting that even like the sconce light is still on in here, and it gives it a very like creepy vibe. So we'll make our way this way because I know there's not tons. I did a walk through the place just to see what I was getting into before we uh, came here. You can see right here too, there's historic photos of the actual theater from uh, the 40s to the 80s. It's very cool. You can see some of the um, heritage behind this place. So right here is the ticket booth. You would have gone here, purchased your tickets for the show, and uh, yeah, you would have been good. It's very old style. I think at one point they were trying to save this place, but it just never came to fruition, and then they just ended up building a, um, a new theater. 
which is interesting, but the upkeep on something like this was probably just too much for them to handle, especially with all the, you know, extra details this place actually had. So the bottom level of the theater, while it's impressive, there's even more impressive stuff to see. I was shocked by uh, what's actually left behind in this place. I've never seen an abandoned theater with so much still intact almost. So let's go check it out. We'll have to go to the main stage. Gotta go to the projector room. It's gonna be sweet, guys. Get to walk up these epic foyer stairs. Got the main chandelier right in the middle here. But as you can start seeing the amount of decay that has begun in this place, which is absolutely insane. Like, look at this. Guys, I noticed this chair inside of the theater. If anybody knows what it's for, let me know. It just has emergency chair on it, but I'm not exactly sure what they would use it for. Is it like a stretcher, just in case somebody breaks a leg literally on stage? If you know, drop it down in the comments below. Look at that too, right away there's an old Singer sewing machine, is that what this one is? White rotary. It's kind of cool. And you can just see all of the seats still left behind, which is absolutely insane. Literally walking through here is like walking back in time. Just look at the amount of detail throughout this entire theater, guys. Oh, what's up? How's it going? What's up, Brent? You guys have been telling me to meet up with Brent, so, you know, there he is. We're Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, there's all just the wall sconces, everything. And you can see some of the seat backs have been taken, stuff like that. Interestingly enough, there's actually still power. You can turn on these lights here. Obviously I had to have my own light to you know, show you guys what's happening in here, but. And if you hear in the background a, a very loud beeping, it's, I can't control that. <laughs> Cause I know somebody's gonna say something. Check that out. So you got your main floor, then you got your upper floor, or your upper balcony, and then look at that ceiling. The pattern and the design on it. I'm gonna try to zoom in for you guys. You want a detail in it. And we got center stage right here. It's missing a lot of chairs. They've been repurposed, I'm assuming, but What's crazy is this still works apparently. So I'll have to get the, uh, find the button to do that. But just even the curtains, it, like this whole place doesn't even look real. Hard to see, but up there it's uh, all mirrors, which is quite cool. Hopefully that one tile doesn't fall down and whack me in the head because that's gonna just be awkward.
Check this out, guys. Curtains still work on this. It is showtime, guys. <laughs> That's super cool. I gotta figure out where this button is because, like, I feel dumb because I couldn't find it. Stop. That is so cool. Look at that. <laughs> so obviously, we're behind the curtain now. That's very interesting that that still works. The mechanism to make that work is quite interesting too. Not really tons back here though, other than like a saw blade. We have some old theater lighting, which is quite cool. Then there's even more lighting and some ladders up here. Very interesting. I guess this is a costume change box right here. Uh -huh. This goes down, let's go check it out. I mean, I wasn't wrong. This is changing rooms down here. It's kind of exactly what I thought a theater like this would have as a changing room. It still has like the uh, like that theater style style bulbs and stuff like that. It's got an intercom too. So you can see here it says that the new performing arts um, theater is coming soon in 2006. So this is when that was shut down. Got another changing room down here. Pretty much the same as the other one. Very cool though. It's funny how the lights are uh, working down here, but not up in the actual theater. And we've tried all the fuse panels and stuff like that, and they don't seem to work. Just a little boiler. You can just see the amount of cobwebs and stuff built up. Look at that. Wow. So that's always good to see, ceiling falling apart right onto an electrical box with another one right beside it. <laughs> it's always good. There we go, we can get upstage here. Now imagine this, guys. You're standing on stage, performing to all these people. How insane would that feel? Especially in somewhere as beautiful as this. There's a lot of theaters still around and kicking, but you don't see the level of detail like a place like this has. And that's, that's kind of a shame. Alrighty, so we're gonna leave the main stage room and head upstairs, check out what's left. Always love a good paint peeling. All right, let's head upstairs. Still can't get over the ironwork. I guess we'll go to the balconies first. Check out the amount of decays on these stairs. Wow. 
That's just years and years. So here is your upper level for the balcony. It almost has all the seats still left up here, which is super cool. What's lighting this place still is these construction lights. There's your upper balcony view though. Wow. These don't fit, and these are, these are way newer than the rest of them. <laughs> Do a better look at the uh, design on these from up here. This one has a pot light in it, which is kind of interesting. But just the amount of detail all throughout here. You have your grand center chandelier. Beautiful. I don't know, I kind of like the idea of being up here more than down there. I'm not sure though. Huh. The best seat in the house, the decayed one. <laughs> oh man, look at the actual state of this. That's a shame. There's probably so many holes in the ceiling here. Yeah. What I find super cool is that this place still has projectors in there. And this is my favorite room, I think, other obviously than the main stage area. Let's go check it out. There's tons of decay up here. Check this out, guys. So we have the film operator's room up here. We got the film reel holders right here. Super cool. And we actually still have some film itself. I think this is from a film festival that they had. Still have the reel right there. Lighting for film and television. Cool. I like how they have a washroom up here for the film operator, but they had windows so they had to like block them out so you can see them doing their business. They could really hold a lot of film up here. Because they have about three different levels. What is this? Film transportation table, different voltages that it can be set to. I'm not an expert in film or anything, so I'm not exactly sure how this works, but you can tell that it is decently old technology, that's for sure. Okay, so this is telling you how to actually route the film from the platter to the projector. And you can see the uh, reels and the pulleys that would help you do that. And I mean, this thing is still running. Like you can hear the fans still going for it. So it's, it'd be interesting if it actually works. It, it seems like it's on, so I would assume that it's not working currently, but this is a very interesting machine. That's for sure. How to run audio for projector. That's cool. So much effort just to run it when you have like a CD nowadays. Even a film still tangled up in this. They were playing some sort of movie. You can see that it's running through all the um, 
stuff right here, especially right there. You can see it running through. It's quite the lens it has, too. Oh, that's really stuck. Big old Zeiss lens. Close and open. Yeah, it's a crazy contraption just to play some film. I know it's been very much modernized since um, from when I'm born, obviously. Hmm. You can select which one it feeds from. It's very cool. What is it made out of? It's like tin. Really? That's, good. That's probably be worth a lot of money. Like if they took the pan. Actually, we can pan. see what it's made of if we look at the back of this one. Oh, yeah. It looks like it's rusted. Yep. It's definitely rusted. Interesting. Like these panels are probably. So, Alan is going to show me where the safe is in here. So as you can see, we're going to the men's washroom this way. Just the state of this is just insane. <laughs> oh man, look at that. This thing has seen better days for sure. I like how there's a suggestion box right above it too. But the amount of like just decay that's come on this thing, I doubt that it works. Nah, it's like seized. It's an office. Not a very big office. It faces out onto the street, so I gotta be kind of careful where I point the light. But that thing is super cool. Really wonder if there's anything interesting inside of it. It's too bad you can't open it. We'll head to the other side. So the ladies' washroom is very much more interesting than the men's one. Check this out, guys. Look how incredible that is. It's got such a such an old vibe to it. I love it. And then just the decay in here is starting too. Absolutely amazing. I'm assuming these lights, these were lights and they would turn on, but I'm not really sure. interesting because then they have a like a more modern washroom in here nothing too too crazy though wow alrighty guys so this is the end of the explore of this amazing abandoned theater I hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to hit that like button make sure to subscribe a big thank you to everybody that's donated me a coffee um, I really, really appreciate it. And if you'd like to do so also, you can at the link down below. But uh, yeah, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next one.